In a stunning turn of events, Jeffrey Owens, celebrated for his role in the hit sitcom The Cosby Show, opens up about a heartbreaking journey from fame to destitution. Once a familiar face on screens across the nation, Owens found himself facing unimaginable challenges, ultimately leading to financial ruin and homelessness. In this candid revelation, Owens shares the untold story behind his downfall, shedding light on the harsh realities of life beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. Jeffrey Owens gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of Elvin Thibodeau on the iconic television sitcom The Cosby Show. Beyond this seminal role, Owens has graced the screens of various other television productions, making guest appearances on popular series such as It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Divorce, The Haves and the Have-Nots, and The Good Fight. His cinematic endeavors have also left an imprint with notable performances in films like The Paper, Play the Game, and Impossible Monsters. In 2010, Jeffrey Owens boasted a net worth of up to $4 million. However, a 2016 interview with Comedy Hype unveiled a stark reality. Owens had mismanaged his personal finances, primarily through investments that didn't pan out, including ventures in restaurants and real estate. Fast forward to 2024, and the picture looks vastly different. Owens's net worth has dwindled to a mere $300,000 with the added burden of looming debt. This downward spiral serves as a poignant lesson in financial management and the perils of unchecked investment decisions. Another reason why he, as well as the cast of The Cosby Show, lost a lot of revenue because of the scandal surrounding Bill Cosby, the main star of the show. Allegations of sexual abuse against Cosby surfaced in the late 2010s, tarnishing the show's reputation and impacting its sales and syndication deals. The allegations, which gained widespread attention starting in 2014, sparked public outrage and led to the cancellation of rebroadcasts on many television channels. The fallout from the scandal not only affected Cosby's career but also had ripple effects on the entire cast of The Cosby Show. Revenue from copyright sales and related products dwindled as the show's popularity waned. For Jeffrey Owens and his fellow cast members, the impact was felt both professionally and financially. More notably, in 2018, Owens was photographed working at a Trader Joe's store. These photos appeared in the British newspaper Daily Mail. The publication faced heavy criticism for what many deemed as job-shaming Owens unfairly exposing his livelihood to public scrutiny. The unwanted attention led Owens to resign from his job at Trader Joe's. However, amidst the storm of controversy, a silver lining emerged. Tyler Perry, a renowned filmmaker and actor, stepped in to offer Owens a role in the soap opera, The Haves and the Have-Nots. This opportunity provided Owens with a chance to return to his passion for acting, offering him a platform to showcase his talent once more. Soon after, Owens appeared on Good Morning America to address the situation. He openly shared that he had been working at Trader Joe's for 15 months, emphasizing that he appreciated the job for providing him with a steady income and the flexibility to pursue his acting aspirations through auditions. Owens's candidness shed light on the importance of valuing all forms of work, regardless of societal perceptions. In the aftermath of the incident, there was a resounding sentiment of support for Owens. Many recognized the dignity in his choice to work at Trader Joe's, highlighting the virtue of hard work and the need to eradicate the stigma associated with certain jobs. Owens's experience served as a reminder that every job deserves respect and individuals should not be judged based on their occupation. My audience, do you wanna know what Jeffrey Owens is doing and how he lives now? The story continues to be shocking, as the salary he received for his roles was very low. But before we get into that, we invite you to look back at his career journey for a few minutes. Jeffrey Owens, born on March 18, 1961, in the vibrant borough of Brooklyn, New York City, hails from a family deeply rooted in education and public service. His upbringing was influenced by his mother, Ethel, a dedicated literature and music educator, and his father, Major, 
who not only curated books as a librarian, but also represented the people as a congressman in the United States House of Representatives. Owens, who shares his familial bonds with two brothers and two half-siblings, embarked on his educational journey at the renowned High School of Performing Arts during his teenage years. It was there that his passion for the arts began to flourish. Continuing his academic pursuit, Owens later found himself at the esteemed halls of Yale University, where he would eventually graduate with honors in 1983, cementing his commitment to excellence. Transitioning from the hallowed halls of academia to the bright lights of the stage, Owens launched his acting career at Manhattan's illustrious public theater, honing his craft through captivating performances of Shakespeare and works. His dedication to the art didn't end with his performances, as he also generously shared his knowledge and passion by teaching the timeless works of the Bard at HB Studios for an impressive span of 12 years. Jeffrey Owens found his big break in the realm of television when he landed his initial role as Elvin Thibodeau, the love interest of Sabrina LaBeouf's character, Sandra Huxtable, in the widely acclaimed NBC sitcom, The Cosby Show. His debut on the show occurred in its second season in 1985, and he continued to be a part of the cast until the series concluded its run in 1992, amassing a total of 128 episodes. Throughout his tenure on the show, viewers witnessed the evolution of his character as Elvin eventually tied the knot with Sandra Huxtable, marking a significant development in the series' narrative arc. After The Cosby Show ended, Jeffrey Owens returned to television in 1997 with the NBC sitcom Built to Last. Sadly, the show didn't live up to its name and was axed after just three episodes. Despite this setback, Owens remained determined. He made a guest appearance on Law & Order in 1999, dipping his toes back into the TV waters. After a brief hiatus, Owens resurfaced in 2007 diving headfirst into a variety of TV series. From the teen comedy, That's So Raven, to the emotional roller coaster of The Wedding Bells and Las Vegas, he showcased his versatility. Owens even delved into the world of legal drama with a stint on Boston Legal, and explored the realms of science fiction romance in The Journeyman. In a surprising turn, Owens found his comedic stride with a recurring role on the hit sitcom, It's Always Sunny, in Philadelphia, starting in 2007. This marked a new chapter in his career, proving his ability to tackle diverse roles. As the decade drew to a close, Owens continued to make his mark on television with appearances on shows like Medium, I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant, and Without a Trace. But Owens didn't limit himself to just series. He also dabbled in television films, starring in In the Mix and Action Auto. Through the ups and downs, Jeffrey Owens showed resilience and dedication to his craft, leaving a lasting impression on the small screen. Jeffrey Owens' television journey continued to evolve well into the 2010s, with a string of diverse roles showcasing his talent and versatility. In 2010, he graced the screens in episodes of the sci-fi series Flash Forward and the teen drama The Secret Life of the American Teenager demonstrating his ability to adapt to different genres. Four years later, Owens made memorable appearances on critically acclaimed shows like The Leftovers and The Affair, further solidifying his presence in the television landscape. His credits continued to expand, with roles in series such as The Slap, Deadbeat, Divorce, Blue Bloods, Lucifer, The Blacklist, Elementary, NCIS, New Orleans, Billions, and On Becoming a God in Central Florida. Each role allowed Owens to showcase his range as an actor, tackling a diverse array of characters and narratives. Between 2020 and 2021, Owens remained a familiar face on television screens with guest roles on several series. He delved into the crime drama genre with power, brought his comedic flair to the sitcom Bless This Mess, and showcased his dramatic chops in Tyler Perry's soap opera the haves and the have-nots. Additionally, Owens added to his repertoire with appearances on the legal drama The Good Fight and the police procedural series The Rookie, demonstrating his ability to seamlessly transition between different types of roles. However, 
Something is not right, my dear audience. In a shocking revelation, Jeffrey Owens disclosed that he was only paid between $100 to $450 per shooting session, with two failed appearances in the series to generate enough income to cover his family's expenses. Aside from his acting career, Goffrey Owens has made notable contributions to education. He founded the Brooklyn Shakespeare Company and serves as its artistic director, aiming to bring the timeless works of Shakespeare to audiences in innovative ways. Owens is also a seasoned educator, having shared his expertise in acting with students at esteemed institutions like Yale, Columbia, and Pace University. His commitment to education extends to developing his own Shakespeare workshop, providing students with a unique opportunity to explore the Bard's works in depth. Furthermore, Owens has generously lent his time and knowledge as a guest teacher at numerous schools and theaters across the bustling landscape of the New York metropolitan area. Next, we invite you to discover what his life is like now. Next, we invite you to discover what his life is like now. Geoffrey Owens leads a humble life with his family in New York City, residing in a cozy apartment alongside his wife, Yosette, whom he met at an art show celebrating Christian art. Owens cherishes the simple joys of family life. Their bond, forged since their marriage in 1995, has brought them a son and a shared journey through life's adventures. Their New York abode, a snug rental at $3,000 per month, may seem modest in size at 463 square feet, but it exudes warmth and comfort. Nestled in the heart of the city, the apartment boasts a thoughtful layout that maximizes space and functionality. Renovated to perfection, it welcomes ample natural light, courtesy of its south-facing windows. The kitchen stands as the heart of the home adorned with modern amenities, including a Viking gas stove, farmhouse sink, and subway tile backsplash. The living area, meticulously arranged, offers a sanctuary for relaxation and bonding. Recessed lighting, hardwood floors, and high ceilings further enhance the ambiance, creating an inviting retreat from the bustling city outside. In addition to their urban oasis, Owens and his family enjoy the vibrant neighborhood of New York City, with attractions like Fort Tryon Park and the Cloisters within reach, outdoor adventures abound. For the sporty types, Fort Washington Park beckons with tennis courts, soccer fields, and scenic jogging trails along the Hudson River. Despite the comfort of his New York home, Owens recently embarked on an exciting new chapter in his career. Set to star in a film project with Tyler Perry, slated for release in 2025, this information is confirmed by the apartment owner. Fans eagerly anticipate his return to the silver screen, hopeful for another captivating performance. As Owens ventures into new horizons, we extend our heartfelt wishes for his continued success and happiness. May his endeavors in film and education bring him and his family abundant joy and fulfillment in the days ahead. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.